IRT NanoELEC is a technological research institute of which INRIA is a founding partner. The perfect project brings together the CEA, French Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission, and INRIA in a mobile robotics project for embedding software in vehicles. The integration of these software programs, developed by the INRIA Chroma research team with the hardware, is today a crucial issue for the commercial deployment of the autonomous car. The main problem we're working on is the strong connection that exists between embedded perception, decision and control, and above all, on the fact that you have to understand the environment. You can't make a decision unless you have understood the environment. Our approach to tackling this problem is on the one hand to develop techniques for analyzing and understanding the scene perceived by the sensors, extending to analysis of the risk of a future collision. Then the other approach is to conduct actual scale experiments, both on the IRT NanoELEC platform with our experimental vehicle, but also with some measures taken in the city in order to have access to much more complex environments. In fact, in order to innovate in the area of communicative vehicles, you have to have a test vehicle, a vehicle which is a test platform, but you also need a particular infrastructure so that the vehicle can communicate with the different elements which are those of its usual surroundings, such as interactive street furniture, signage, the road, car parks and barriers. And as it's difficult to gain access to test zones for security or regulatory reasons in order to validate the performance of experiments that you're carrying out, it is necessary to have a location where you can perform these tests, as is the case with this technological liaison platform. We have a Renault Zoe which has been fitted with sensors. We have rather generic sensors in the car at the moment, such as GPS and inertial navigation systems, which tell you where the vehicle is and what direction it's heading in. But the specific nature of our work is that we use lidars, rather like radars but using light. That's to say that reflections from lasers tell us where objects are in relation to the vehicle. So we also have cameras, one which points forward and one which points backwards. Once our leaders have detected an object in space, our cameras will help us to identify what it is, whether it's a pedestrian or a bike. And for that we use artificial intelligence technologies on these video images. All these sensors produce mixed data which arrive at different points in time. The idea is therefore to synchronize and merge them in order to be able to understand the urban space with these immobile and mobile obstacles and to do this over time. So the first phase for that is knowing how to represent this space, which will be represented by probability grids. A bit like an image is represented by groups of pixels. Here we have elements which represent probability of occupation. That's to say the static part of the environment, what you have detected that doesn't move. And then also probabilities of speed, which measure how things move within this space. The second principle which we implement is being able to reason about this dynamic space. For that, we have developed spatio-temporal reasoning models. This allows us on the one hand to extract everything which moves, to extract information on their speed and any changes over time. And on the other hand, to be able to remove ambiguities, as when you have a sequence of images of a scene you understand what is happening much better, and you can remove certain ambiguities and correct certain errors of perception. But we have also manufactured a much more compact perception box, which can be positioned at intersections. Or you can put it in a bus in order to be able to detect pedestrians which cars couldn't see. And so in this box, we sort of replicate what is in the vehicle in a much more simplistic fashion. So there is only one leader, for example, in the box, a GPS, an embedded board, of course, in order to process the data, and a geo-networking box. With this box, which can be considered as a Wi-Fi network, will send information from the box to the car. The concept of temporal reasoning, and above all of prediction, is extremely important. 
If you look at any driver and what they do, they're constantly doing that. They look at the scene in front of them, they understand it, and they predict what will happen in the following seconds. The perfect project focuses on all these algorithms of perception in order to allow the vehicle to navigate autonomously in cities and avoid hitting pedestrians. And one of the keys at IRT NanoELEC is to miniaturize the hardware as far as possible so that our algorithms can function on this small hardware which is perfectly integrated in cars which are intended to be marketed in the future. So we are working on new generation software which allows us to take more limitations and more knowledge into account, for example by using a camera in order to be able to classify everything which moves in the image in terms of pedestrians, cyclists and cars, etc. And on the other hand, on the relationship between the software and its embedment in hardware architectures of all types. We already have excellent results in relation to the CEA, and some of these results are currently the subject of patent applications. At a time when autonomous vehicles have never seemed so close to being market ready, the work carried out in order to produce a vehicle which combines safety, reliability and security remains the priority of research teams. <laughs>